Welcome back, everyone. I'm live in Niceville, where the Gulf Coast State College men's basketball team made history earlier tonight, becoming state champions for the first time in nearly 50 years. It was a momental event, an amazing game for so many reasons, and here is more on why. The Gulf Coast State College men's basketball team going from last place in the Panhandle Conference last season to cutting the net as state champions on Saturday night. It's a great feeling. You know, I haven't won a championship since rec league, so I was telling Kobe he was a state champ and all my teammates who probably won a state championship. I always come in second place. Like, I've been second place for four years straight um, in my high school career, so winning the championship, finally finishing the drill is great feeling. But it was led by as much as 16 in the first half, but they were only up by one point at halftime, fighting until the final minute to beat Tallahassee for the win. Jacoby Owens was the leading scorer on the night with 23 points, including the three that gave Gulf Coast a nine-point lead with just a minute to go in the game. It, just, it feels special. It feels like, okay, we got the game in the bag. Uh, we can win our first championship since 1972. It, it was a great feeling. This team overcoming so much, including their head coach Phil Gaffney, suffering from a heart attack in January. He hasn't been on the court with them since until he was back on the floor with the state champions tonight. Started off out in the parking lot and just monitoring my blood pressure and heart rate. Felt pretty good, so I said, well, I'll come in and watch. And just up there, nobody knew who I was. And then at the end of the game, I decided, uh, well, I'll come down and share in all the uh, glory of what the guys got. Seeing Gaffney was a surprise to the whole team, including interim head coach Scott Jackson. I saw all of our players start running towards somebody. So I'm kind of looking around and dodging, and, and then I see him come on there, and I start, you know, running, or, or I don't even remember what I did. I was just so happy to see him. I couldn't believe he was there. And so, um, you know, that just topped it off. It was such a fantastic moment. And next up for the Commodores is Hutchinson, Kansas, for the national tournament. They will find out their seating on Monday with no plans to change how they've been playing. Nobody respects us, honestly. So, like, going into the game, we always be like, okay, we're the underdog. We got to go out here and play. Play our style. We don't want anybody else changing the style that we play. So, every game, we got to take it in and out and just play our game. And truly just an incredible story there for the men's team. And Coach Gaffney said he's permitted to be back at work on Tuesday. He's hoping if everything goes well when he's with the team at practices that he'll be with them at that national tournament. Now,